Hey guys, welcome back to the Researcher Guy. This is Saiful Islam Shagur here, and today you will learn about what is electronics and the history of electronics. Let's get started. To learn the electronics, the best way is learn from the history. So let's go to the past. In 1883, Thomas Alva Edison discovered the vacuum tube. This is the start of electronics. You can say this is the birthday. In 1904, John Fleming applied this Edison effect and discovered the diode. And this angry man is Lee De Forest. Discovered the three element tube. It's called as triode. These devices are used to control the flow of electrons. Now we are in the middle age. In 1897, Marconi first used the radio communication. Then he developed this for long distance communication. By this we can send signal wirelessly one place to another place. Then the development is going to two part. One is scientists develop the Morse code. This takes a very important role in world war. This Morse code is the way to communication on the world. The other side, Bell Laboratory introduced the cathode ray tube or CRT television. It's the revolution time. In this time, electronics is go beyond. In 1947, the transistor was invented by three brilliant scientists. I love them. They are from Bell Laboratory. This device is changed the world. This is the revolution. The IBM 608 was the first product. They used transistor circuit. By the benefit of transistor, the CEO Thomas J. Watson decided to order all their future product use transistor and they use this into their design. Then the MOSFET came. This transistor can use in massive production and this takes a great important role in microelectronics. Now it's time to learn what is electronics. Electronics is a branch of science that deals with the study and flow of electrons. And we study the behavior and effect in vacuum, gas, and semiconductor devices, etc. etc. And we use the devices which are used electrons. This is by Wikipedia. At first, we electronics engineers are known as a radio engineer. Now we are in everywhere and every sector, like mobile, computer, what we are used in daily life in every day. First, we use the button mobile. Now, with the development of electronics, we use that one and many, many more stuff. And we see electronics in robotics, industrial automation. Thanks for watching.